was something I worked for. It's something that I knew I was capable of doing, and it came through to tuition this time. And um, you know, I'm very pleased. But again, the medal doesn't define who I am. It, I always wanted to do it, step up in the competition, do what I was capable of doing, and whatever happened, happened. Right? And I gave myself an opportunity to do that. I had three goals. I walked in, I was like, hey, you know, don't pay attention to anybody else. You know, two, smile. And three, just live in Troy's world. Don't worry about anything that's going on, the crowd, the scoreboard, whatever. So it made it more fun, it made it more enjoyable. It's the hard work and the dedication and the motivation that I put through that means the most because when I, when I bridge off to my other life outside of diving, I know that that's what I'm capable of doing. And that's what this medal means to me and this you know, performance does, meaning that you know, on the biggest limelight, mo the most difficult, hardest you know, Olympic you know, limelight and media event, I was able to push through, get what I need to do. Therefore, I can take that to my life outside and understand that it doesn't matter how big or how small the meeting or you know, the dream or the goal we have, I feel like I can push through and get to that point. And that's what matters the most to me. Matt's played a big role in my success, really, really big. The communication was phenomenal in the sense that we were working together. And that's what matters between athlete and coach. That's what basically can, you know, prove to be the, basically the, you know, the ultimate go get him or the, one little step it takes to get to the top. Um, so it's uh, it was a phenomenal feat that Matt and I were able to do this, and um, it was awesome being at the USA House in London, where you know the coaches that have a medalist throughout the year they get an award, and so it was nice to give him an award. And then with that award, I was able to give him a pin for his Olympics because he made he made it to the 1992 Olympics, and it was a Barcelona Spain pin. It was the overall Barcelona and Spain pin. And I was able, to, and I, I just loved, I, I found it and I wanted to give to it because that was his memory. Now he has another memory and I hope he can bridge both of them together for an amazing career because he's, he's, he's an amazing coach and uh, he's gonna have some amazing you know, future ahead of himself. I've learned a lot of things in my sport and I also understand that as I get older, if you don't use it, you lose it, you know? So, I might not be working out like really, really difficult, but I'm doing something just to keep, you know, keep my body involved. Um, I promised myself that I would, I would shoot for Barcelona at the World Championships next summer, and I would make a decision after that. But during this time, I'm going to branch out. You know, I'm not going to be just all diving. I'm going to be branching out and looking at my life outside of diving. Diving is a hobby. I love it. I love to compete. Now it's my chance to get out into the real world and, you know, compete there. That's my next goal is to bridge that, bridge that gap between athletics and the real world.